Hello guys, how is it going? It is Fako coming at you once again with another Legends of Rune Terror video. Today I am going to share with you guys a game that I had while playing Karma Lux versus Karma Ezreal. Now on the surface, I would think that this matchup was kind of favoured by the Karma Ezreal simply because of the fact that it does kind of have that ultimate win condition but karma lux is proving to be quite a strong mana deck and very extremely oppressive at the moment so wouldn't be surprised to see what the future holds for the deck and just how well it's going to perform going into the future now this game in particular i want to share with you guys today proves a great amount of how important decision making is in Legends of Runeterra, whether you win or lose, it's important to stick to a strategic game plan and decide what cards you want to play and when. Whether you win or lose, it does not matter. Learning is probably one of the most fun experiences for me. And I'm going to be honest, after watching a video that actually Swim posted, it kind of opened my eyes a little bit about a Legends of Runeterra, card games, and decision making in general in life. I will actually leave a link to that video down in the description. I highly recommend you guys go watch it. I've gotten a few comments talking about like, you know, decision making turns, you know, still trying to improve at the game. And I think a video like that could be a very good place to start. I might be getting a little bit off track here, so we'll continue to get to the game shortly. But before I do that, I would just also like to add, we hit 700 subscribers, which is actually, uh, really insane i'm really shocked that we got here when we did all thanks to you guys um you guys are insane i love you thank you so much for that and i hope i can continue to provide you guys with that rune terror content that you need please leave any feedback any comments a like or two would be much appreciated but i would love to hear from you you know also we are streaming over on twitch links in the description feel free to follow enjoy this game here today this video is going up a little bit late i do apologize but um yeah, I think this is a good game. Win or lose, enjoy. I'll see you soon. I fight with my spirit, not my fist. Adelaide. Cool. Melbourne. The order rewards its faith. probably invest a concussive palm so this is a matchup where if i don't have to play units i won't but he's developing a board against me so i kind of have to react to it unless i want to face tank three damage doesn't even feel that bad to be honest i'll let him make a product i move here first been to a few paxes I guess I'll skip block for now. I've never been to a PAX before, but I did go to the um, Melbourne Esports last year to watch League of Legends. It was Mammoth versus Chiefs. I'm going to play a 3 mana 2 2 that draws me cards. He's hopefully gonna, not going to be able to cast two spells. That event last year was really cool. They cannot hide. I'm going to attack here. Like, what if I just don't spend my mana? What if I, um, consider playing very minimalistic? <laughs> and just, like, limiting his resources as much as possible. Like, what if I would, to example, single combat my Shadow Assassin into his Shadow Assassin? Would that be kind of like a weird line? I want to try it. I want to see what happens if I just, uh, completely invest in not creating units and clearing his. I'm going to fizzle as much of his spells as you can, and we could possibly outvalue him. Maybe I'll draw some spells to thin out my deck, even though it's not being played for optimal mana. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It's probably a game where I'm going to have to like keep track of my cards in hand. Did he not play? I fizzled his spell, so his Eye of the Dragon does not 
get the buff. Not all mean well. I'm not entirely concerned about taking damage here. Pass for now. I think I have the I have the priority to like not have to develop anything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna play the ranger here because if he goes to use a spell against it, I can single combat. I got ways to find me mushroom. Swing. Excuse you. I this. Single combat. I'm gonna single combat here. Maybe get him to use another resource or not. I'm happy with this outcome. I have a 4 4 body on the field that he can now interact with though by using his spells to level up Ezreal, but we've actually managed to keep his Ezreal to like nothing. This has been pretty good so far. I'm pretty happy with the decisions we've made. Get to do this attack. He's going to spam mushrooms so he can activate his Eye of the Dragon next turn. I guess he values that 2-1 and a bit of chip damage against me and a block here. Cool. We've lost two single combats here. How many spells have we played this turn? Two. I'll get a reduction on deep meditation next turn. Also play Eye of the Dragon. I think at this point, I can maybe develop a bit of a board and start to pressure him with units. Plus we have the activation on Eye of the Dragon, plus the refill on the mana. I don't mind this. Probably caught him very off guard here. We'll get a bit of healing from this to make up for the loss of the health potion. A lux. We can do this. And I'll probably play deep meditation, right? I thought you never is real. Okay. It probably just swings with Ezreal here, right? I don't miss. Nailed it. So we can't Will of Iron here at least. So I guess I'll take that value. for now. I right, check this out. Let's will. 
He'll go to will or deny. I'll deny. I'll deny his deny. He'll deny my deny my deny. <laughs> and the train continues on. Here's the problem though now. a lot of resources for him. I can stun him next turn. I was pretty happy with that outcome, I think. Getting those resources out of him is not too bad. Then maybe, sure. What is Ezreal sitting at? Three out of eight. Done pretty good so far. I'm gonna swing with this. I want to stun you. Want to block you. How likely is it for him to have another deny here? Not very likely, if I'm being honest. If he denies this, I think it's okay. I think it's okay. I'll protect you. That puts us in a pretty insane position now. And this is like, I was talking about this earlier where I feel like Karma Lux has the tools to beat Ezreal. If the, if, if the stars align and you play it correctly. Getting rid of this is insane right about now. And now I've put the Karma Ezreal in a spot where he relies on top decks. Disgusting. I could almost just put an Unyielding Spirit onto my Lux to be super cheesy. But I think developing an insane board here is not bad either. I can just pressure him now. play this. Actually, I think Radiant Guiding here is good enough. So many different lines I can take. Want to become famous? Buy followers, primes, and viewers on adviewers.com. Awesome. Interesting. Don't click on that link. <laughs> well, that's going to be legit, obviously. Obviously. Let's draw some spells here. Into battle with hearts aglow. What if I just swing with everything, dude? What if I just swing with everything? Got the health potion to trick him into something weird. I mean, how could you possibly? Ignore that. Yeah, sure. I guess what I would hate to see here is like him top deck another karma and he just goes to town on value on me. Oh, but we have our own karma. So it's pretty cool, I guess. Heart and mind as one. Ionia speaks. I don't mind playing Karma. I think that'll be it, right? We'll pass the turn at that point. Just open attack. Let me just double check if there's a way I can guarantee lethal. Like Karma here, like 
I think there's a way to guarantee lethal if I slow play. You could have double will. Does that even save him? No. Gonna attack here. Rummage. Draws two here at least. That's not the worst. Finds more random cards. That's it. I think we played that good. I think we played that really good actually. Um, win or lose, I was pretty happy with that performance. I think denying him value from Ezreal that long and then shifting shifting into a very aggressive move made it really hard for him to balance mana for himself. It's especially hard to utilize spell mana alongside a thermo beam as well when your opponent is threatening open attacks. That was a good game. I think that was a really good highlight of a Kama Lux versus a Kama Ezreal matchup.